Hello everybody, this is me, MC Gamer, and you're now tuned into a Zelda uh, glitch demonstration video. Uh, the series of videos I'm going to be doing is uh, to demonstrate some glitches to you inside the game Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I may do other Zelda games as we go along, but right now we're going to be focusing on Ocarina of Time because it has a lot of really interesting glitches. Uh, we're going to be taking an approach to these as if you're a newcomer to the world of Zelda glitching. Um, these glitches are mainly used for speedrunning, but... Uh, uh, we're going to use them in, in the fact that we're trying to learn some fun tricks to show off, I suppose. Um, but the practical use of them would be to beat the game very fast inside of speedrun. But uh, I'm going to show you some, some neat things. Now the first thing is called the Power Crouch Stat. It requires the sword and the shield. It can be You can either be an adult or a child, it doesn't matter. But you need to have a sword and a shield. Uh, it also works if you have a Deku Stick or the Megaton Hammer. Now uh, how it works is uh, you do a normal Crouch Stab. As you see, when you shield and then press B, you can do just your normal old little crouch step. The thing about this is, in the game, they did not assign a value for how strong the crouch stab should be. Uh, this was an error and it was fixed in inside the uh, 3DS version. But basically what it means is you can set any value to be how strong your um, sword is based on other attacks. So if you do a slash and then do a crouch stab, your crouch stab is as powerful as that slash you just did. If you do a jump slash, which is more powerful than a normal slash, your crouch stab now has that power. So it would now do two damage. And this also goes if you were to use a Deku stick. So if you got a Deku stick and then did a jump slash with it, that'd be four damage points. And then you did a crouch stab with your sword, it would still have that four damage points from the Deku stick since it was your last attack. Um, so it remembers basically your last attack value. And this can be used to defeat bosses quicker. Um, so you can just do a jump slash with a Deku stick before you go into the battle, walk up to the boss, and then when it's time to uh, hit him with your sword, just do power crouch stabs, and you'll be doing lots of damage very quickly. Now, power crouch stabbing has something else attached to it that we're also going to be demonstrating in this video, which is called the infinite sword glitch. Now, when you crouch stab, you can interrupt the stab uh, when Link extends his sword by pressing the A button or doing any sort of communication action. For example, if you talk to Navi, so you, um, let, let me just show you how it's done. Uh, so let's go over to the sign here, since this is something we can talk to, like the A button. What we need to do is crouch, press B, and then it, while our sword is extended, press A. So it'll be pretty quick, so just like that. And now you'll notice Link's sword, well, I screwed up, didn't I? Um, no problem. Now I didn't get it. Oh boy. There we go. So, you will notice Link's sword looks like it's swinging all the time. That's because it is swinging every single frame of animation. It has the same power as your power crouch stab. So if we did a Deku Stick Jump Slash uh, last, our infinite sword glitch would have the power of the Deku Stick every single frame. So when we walk up to things, it thinks that basically Link is swinging the sword all the time. So we can use that, of course, on these rocks here just to, 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 to make some sparkly effects. But it's more uh, useful for taking down enemies. Some um, side effects of this include that you are not allowed to walk off of cliffs. Um, this can be useful, however, um, in that you can actually use this later for bomb hovering, which we'll talk about another time. Um, you can do jumps. Tiny little jumps. You can even put away your sword by pressing A to sheath it. Um, however, if you just pulled it out again, Link would do a, a slash animation and that would interrupt it. So what you need to do is do a backflip and then pull out your sword and your infinite sword lift will stay. But if you just did a normal slash, um, that would cancel it and you'd be out of it. You also notice uh, another way to tell you you have ISG other than the glowing sword is that the camera goes really kind of wonky. So you can just like walk right off screen kind of. Now taking damage, uh, swimming, um, and there's, there's a couple of ways to like disable ISG. One simple though is just to crouch. Uh, now we're going to show you a practical use of ISG here. We're going to go into this corner, get rid of this sign here, get rid of that, we don't need it. And we're going to line this up here like so. It's a pretty loose angle so you don't need to worry about it too much. Then we're going to crouch stab, but we're going to interrupt it, we're going to do a infinite sword glitch. Like that. So Link is thrusted backwards with ISG and he basically clips right through this guy. Now we can, uh, the only problem now is he's still guarding us because he doesn't want us to leave the forest since we haven't done the Deku Tree Dungeon yet. And that's a problem 
because we don't want to go do the Deku Tree Dungeon. That's too much time. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a cool little rule here. Oh wait, he, he was on the wrong side. There we go. Oh, he's being a tricky one. He can be a tricky guy. I'll show you a more reliable method, but a slower method in a second. There we go. So you can just roll on out of there. I already talked to Sorry for the sake of the video, but if we go back through, we're going to walk right by him. So let's do that again. There we go. So I'm going to show you a different way to get rid of this guy now. So what we can do is just creep him up right here. Creep him up on this little edge right here. Creep him. Oh. Just got to creep him up and... Oh, he's being a tricky one today. There we go. So, there we go. We got rid of him. He's out of our way now. We, we can freely walk around. We got rid of him. No need to worry about him anymore. Although he will respawn when you come back in. So that's one of the uh, little clever ways to use the infinite sword glitch. Is to skip doing the Deku Tree Dungeon. Um, of course, you will not have the Spiritual Stone's Forest. So, um, you will not be able to proceed at the door of time unless you know other glitches. But that's my basic glitch demonstration on the power crouch stabs, which now you can do more powerful attacks, and the infinite sword glitch, so you can attack every single frame and do some other cool tricks, which we'll cover inside another video. But it's a very basic thing, so go ahead and do it yourself, uh, and tell me how you like it. If you want to see any other glitches that you know, uh, recommend them to me inside the comments, and I will be watching out for them. Thanks guys, and have a nice day.